Peter McGaw, and I'm a director and co-founder of Menorum Gold. I've been working specifically in Mexico for more than 37 years, looking primarily for high-grade silver and gold deposits, district-scale discoveries. Uh, have I found Exelon's Platosa deposit, and I've just recently been honored with find, for finding the Juan Escipio project for Mag Silver. Mexico is the most special place on the planet for silver. Of all the ounces of silver ever mined in human history, 25% of them came from Mexico. On top of that, if you look worldwide, there's about 15 deposits, districts, that have produced more than a billion ounces of silver. Eight of them are in Mexico. So Mexico is the place to go, not just for silver, but for big silver. And to me, the ability to discover a whole new district that's basically been lurking, undiscovered. The ability to make major discoveries is absolutely wide open in Mexico. So we have the knowledge of the deposits, we know we've got a great address, and the question really is just finding where the next place to apply those ideas is. The Alamos district is what they call an antiguo, which means an ancient district in Mexico. Um, it started production back in the 1600s during the Spanish colonial era and essentially produced into the early part of the 20th century. Uh, it's produced historically in excess of 200 million ounces of silver. That's what the records show. Most of those old mines produced more than that uh, from very high grade silver and copper ores. Most of that came from the Quintera structural block, if you will. It's a strip of fault bounded strip running through the middle of the property with a number of interlinked mines on it, and that's basically where the lion's share of the production came from. Well, the most important mine in the historic Alamos district is the Quintera property, which Minorum has. Uh, that's sort of the heart of the historic part of the district. La Quintera looks like a classic, what we call a low sulfidation epithermal vein deposit, which is a bunch of fancy words for saying it formed in a specific geologic environment. We understand pretty well how those deposits form. We understand what their zoning is with respect to how deep in the crust they formed. We can see that in La Quintera, the, the veins were exposed at a fairly deep level, uh, and that opens the possibility for finding other veins in the district that are exposed at a shallower level. So instead of having, instead of being decapitated, the whole vein is there. And that's the target that gets me excited, is finding all new blind and intact high-grade veins. Well, Benorum has done the logical thing, which is to focus on trying to understand the controls and the nature of mineralization in and around the historic Quintera mine right in the heart of the district. And you do that so that you can apply what you learn there to the surrounding areas to see if there's something that tells you that you're just looking at the top, the tip of the little finger of another vein like it. And structurally, in the Alamos district, this central Quintera block is like, the structure is like piano keys. And so you have the Quintera block, which is up, and the blocks on either side are pushed down, down dropped relative to the Quintera block. So the potential is if there are veins in the adjoining blocks, they're exposed at a very high level, and all we would expect to see is whiffs and sniffs of what we would call leakage from something larger at depth. And if you go out into the ground surrounding the Quintera vein, you see lots of examples of what I would, what looks like leakage from something bigger at depth. And to me, that's the big target. So we've done a lot of detailed mapping and sampling within the Quintera vein. Uh, we've tried to accumulate what historic information, taken the time to get out and start to do the, the exploration of the lateral areas. So we generated targets within the Quintera structure, structural corridor, and we've also generated targets flanking it, essentially taking the drill rigs that will drill holes into the Quintera structural block and turn them outwards to look for something new. It's, under, it's important to understand what success from that early stage would look like. A 20 centimeter vein running a couple of hundred grams silver that has the appearance of being at a very high level would be a home run as far as that first stage of exploration. First of all, the whole Alamos district has produced 200 million ounces of high-grade silver. That tells you you're in the right neighborhood. So you've got location nailed. You've got geology that says one piece of it has been looked at very, 
very thoroughly, although there are still gaps between some of the historic mines where there, there may be some mineralization remaining, and that's probably worth testing. But I've been involved now in three discoveries of major virgin veins in camps very similar to Alamos. And that's really where the upside is, is to be able to come up with whole new vein or veins that previously weren't even suspected. So these areas have a little bit of prospecting on them. Some of that prospecting probably goes back 300 years, but the old timers didn't understand these systems the way we do now. So we can use those clues to see what we can find at depth.